cup, start smoking a spliff. <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toasters grip the clip fly and. I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen to do. This shit is verbal life skills, I ain't just rapping to you. Lead them. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that do get too far. Head of you, Shamir Butterfly, tell your mama I said hi. You already know what's going on, man. Shout out to every one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. He will be by later, allegedly. It's a lot of things going on in battle rap, so we do have some subjects that we need to break down, and it's good because I had previously stated that this summer was probably one of the lightest summers in battle rap, just being honest. It was a lack of big events, it wasn't really much going on, the drama, a lot of the drama takes over the headlines, you know what I'm saying, there are some bright spots, there's a couple of events coming up, you got Shug's boxing card coming up, yo, it was crazy, I was at the supermarket the other day, and one of the cats that worked in there, my man, I seen him, he was like, yo, when's Shug's boxing card, so Shug's boxing card is definitely getting promo, uh, who don't want to see a nigga get knocked out, I definitely will be tuned in to that, you know what I'm saying, because the timeline ain't going to never be the same, once a hoo hoo hoo, somebody get dropped, it's never gonna be the same, so we're gonna definitely be looking forward to that. Um, you had two huge announcements yesterday in Battle Rap, and like I said, shout out to everybody out there, regardless of what you got going on, whether you're at work, you know what I'm saying? We definitely make sure we keep putting blogs out there, content, keep people abreast of what's going on. So, you got two battle announcements you got Cassidy versus John John and Don. And this the fuck the thanks I get. You, my son, you should thank my dick. You take my shit, flip it around, and now you think you sick. I guess you think you cast, but I think you trash. And I spank that ass, you ain't fucking with me. You wouldn't even rap like that if it wasn't for me. Wow. It was announced on Bullpen's Endgame, I believe it's October. Yes, yeah, October 19th in Atlanta. Bullpen will be throwing John John versus Cassidy. Now, there's a lot of, I do have a lot of thoughts about that. And then the other battle is Kayshawn versus Shadi Hara. I will, I was, since I started with John John Cassidy, I'll talk about that. Here's my thought and opinion on it, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, me and SP will get together and I'll get his opinions too as the car continues to roll out. Congratulations to John John for getting a big name battle, you know what I'm saying? Cassidy is a hell of a promoter, you know what I'm saying? He's a decent battle rapper, like as of late, like I ain't gonna lie, I don't have, and this is no knock, I rock with Cassidy, I got no issue with him, I fuck with him, I watch the social media and shit like that, but to be honest, you know what I'm saying, I don't have many Cassidy battle performances that I can grab on and say, yo, I gotta see this over and over and over again, you know what I'm saying, he battles, brings a lot of views, makes a lot of money, and he is the energy, when he talks, people listen, when y'all had a face off, you're not beating, John John won't beat Cassidy, John John will not beat Cassidy in a face off, you know what I'm saying? Like, it probably won't. The best have gone at it with him in face-offs and the way he's going to be able to talk and the things he's going to be able to say. And I shouldn't even fucking be battling you. You not. He, when he starts getting into that bag, it's going to be pure entertainment. Everybody's going to buy it. We're going to love it. We're going to watch it. It's going to do probably one, two million views because Cassidy has a fan base that extends outside of battle rap. So he's able to hinge on to his large following. He's going to have at least a decent performance, and people are going to clamor to him, and it's going to be Cassidy. Now, in Cassidy's, I was thinking about it earlier, right? Because I went to the gym, so I was like, yo, what battles has he had since he's returned? And I'm thinking, you know, he had the disaster joint, he had the arsenal, he had the goods, you know what I'm saying? And he had the hitman. And, you know, out of all of those battles that he's had, John John the Don is probably the best rapper right now out of all of his battles. Individual rapper, bar for bar, they're like, like, come on, son. Like John John, right now he's performing at a higher level than Arsenal is. He's performing at a higher level than Goods is, because Goods is not really as active. He's, uh, he's definitely up there performing with. He's Hitman don't battle as much. He get a battle or two a year, but he's not battling as much. And then you look at the um, disaster. Do I don't even know what disaster is at? You know what I'm saying? So when you look at John John, he's performing at a high level. He's in the top two, three this year this battle does mean a lot for him but unfortunately the one unfortunate issue guess what my nigga ask me what it is ask me what it is i will tell you what the issue is the issue is yeah you're gonna do what you did before the battle happens nigga we already know you gonna win like we know you're gonna win my nigga we know that you will win John John put up a tweet earlier 
and said, you'll go get the best version of John John, my nigga. <laughs> Any version of John John that I've seen recently is going to clear Cassidy. It just is what it is, you know? And I and as, as far as the style clash, I really, like, like I said, I'm not knocking the battle or taking away from it. Cassidy costs a lot of money. But I'm going to ask you the question that everybody wants to know. Where the fuck is Mook? If you could book Cassidy, you could book Mook. It's the conventional way of thinking. That's what you would one would think. Now, did Mook not want to take the battle? That's a different story, you know what I'm saying? But my my question would easily be to John John, what the <laughs> where was Mook? Because I want, all right, if I said Cassidy versus John John is 80-20, John John, whether it be raps, technicality, flows, punches, the shit, the angles that he can take, Versus what Cass is going to be able to do technically as a battle rapper. No hate, no slight towards Cassidy. I rock with Cassidy. But John John's performing at too high of a level for me to believe that Cassidy's going to beat him in fucking, what, a couple weeks? What is it, three, four weeks from now? Maybe next month. <laughs> it's next month. It's a month from now, I guess. Um, I know that a lot of the battlers, they watch these blogs and, you know, they'll draw. But I'm definitely speaking... For the people who's at work, the niggas who buy these pay-per-views, the niggas in the barber shops and in the streets, and the people that I see, they're gonna be telling me what the fuck is John John battling Cassidy for. That's exactly what they're gonna say. Now, I understand that you know, like I said, Cassidy's gonna bring an amazing amount of promotion. He's gonna be able to talk his shit. You know what I'm saying? He might drop a free. I don't even know where this battle came. Where did this shit? Where did this come from? Like, where did the mayor? The mayor? Where's the mayor? The mayor? The mayor, nigga. The mayor. Mayor. If you out there, you need. I would love to be in Atlanta. <laughs> I, my kids is in school. I would love to be in Atlanta. Y'all want to make me? Y'all want to see me in Atlanta? Y'all make it happen, man. But I can't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna promise I would be in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That shit gotta get financed because the the way the economy is shaped right now, you know, whatever y'all need. You know, you need me. You know, I can get SP to slide too. You know what I'm saying? I need some commentary. I ain't I ain't the best. I ain't none of that. I don't want to take nobody's job and no shit like that. I just like to come talk my shit every now and then. And I get on out the motherfucking way. I don't want to be the best. I ain't got to be. I just want to do my little thing every now and then. So if y'all need, yo, know what I'm saying, John John Cassidy, y'all niggas need somebody that let me. Know. <laughs> I ain't hard to find. John John I ain't hard to find. Y'all niggas need to watch this. I'm gonna send you this blog so you can watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? We can keep the pro. Holler at me, man. You know, I ain't Hollywood. But let's keep it moving. Nah, shout out to John John and um. Cassidy, I do think John John's going to win. I'm just going to be honest with you. I think John John is going to win this battle. Not 1-0, not 2-0. It might be 3-0. He's just too good. He, like, come on. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? Like, seriously. Out of all of the opponents that John John has faced this year, Sirius Jones was a fight, you know what I'm saying, from even back when he battled easy. Every single battle that he's having, frat, coffee, boom, boom, this run he's putting together, he ain't even having to take off his warm-up jacket. What what fight? He's not, yo, he's literally clearing really good competition. High-level performing MCs, he's choom, 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 choom. Who said what? Who said what? Who said swipe motherfuckers out the way? This is one of John John's best years. <laughs> if it wasn't for what Tay Rock has going on, John John would be <laughs> at the top over everybody. And he's they knocking on the door with what he got going on with, uh, with motherfucking right? this Cassidy battle. Now, let me think. <sighs> Am I over exaggerating by feeling like John John's gonna win? No, I'm not. He's gonna win. Like, it's almost guaranteed. This is for sure money. He gotta be at least minus 1,000 on the fucking parlay. Cause I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I ain't gonna lie, and I fuck with Cass. Like I said, I'm not hating. I don't want you to feel that way, but I just feel like a better battle for Cass would have been Rex. You know what I'm saying? And a better battle for John John would have been moot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have loved to see Rex. <laughs> I ain't here for rap. I ain't here for smack. If I made it to where you made it in your career, I would have never came back. I would have, you know what I'm saying? That's just my personal opinion. But who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera, you know what I'm saying? That's chasing the degree. Don't hate on me. Um, shout out to uh, Bullpen, Endgame, October 19th, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> nah, I ain't available, but I'm available. You know how to find me. Um, now, K Shine. Um, let's get to K Shine, dog. Uh, congratulations, first and foremost. Let me see what the, the, the flyer came out yesterday, and it was a trailer. 
for a new K-Shine battle that's about to happen. Shout out to him. I would have put the trailer and all of that here, but I'm not really using nobody footage, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this shit crazy. I use nigga footage, they be trying to get your channel taken down. So I, I'm, I'm easy on footage for, for a little minute. Um, the return of K-Shine versus Shadi Haro on the Power Network. It's been almost three long years. I see the return of K-Shine versus Shadi Haro. Now let me give you my own my first thoughts about this battle, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when SP shoots through, we'll, we'll elaborate more and break it down more. I'm happy Shine is back, I'm not gonna lie. Um, shout out to him and shout out to Shotty Hart, who's a really good battle rapper. But the style clash in this battle is way, it's, it's a huge style clash. Um, it's gonna, people are gonna tune in and watch it. I will, I'm definitely gonna, hey Power Network, listen man, we available. You, <laughs> Shout out to y'all too. Uh, Shy, shout out to Shy, shout out to Shadi Hara. I don't know what the Power Network is. We haven't seen them put on a performance before. We haven't seen how the stream is gonna go. So that's a lot. With Battle Rap, um, when you build brand, and I'm learning about this in school, so I mean, I might as well take y'all to school with me. In the business to business world, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these companies, uh, a lot of their trust and dependability comes on relationships, like the relationship that the consumer has with the brand. And the consumer has to put themselves in a position to where the people who are buying their products believe in what they're doing, things that they have going on, and the direction that they're going in, you know what I'm saying? Because there's rapid advances in technology that are taking place. So for instance, if you uh, got your lawn did one way or you got you know your groceries one way for a bunch of years, Things have changed. You can Instacart, you can get your stuff online, you can have people pick your vehicle up and take it to get the things done for you. It's a lot of changes in technology. The companies have to be aware. And then the people have to know that what they're investing in is gonna pan out. So what I say with this is, people haven't seen what this network can do. They don't know the capabilities, they don't know the streaming, they don't know anything. So you have to be able to build a reputable brand. And you know, this is K-Shine situation. It's taken almost three years to happen and I'm gonna watch, but I will not lie and say that this is the battle that I was like waiting to see with K-Shine. Now, I don't know who it would have been or what the situation would have been, but it's good to see that he has his situation as far as him not battling for almost three years under control. So to see him battle again, perfect. I'm good with that, you know what I'm saying? But I did see his interview with, uh, you know what I'm saying? I said that to say this, M3S3 Fred, shout out to him and everything that he's got going on. I would have used some clips, but dog, I, like I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm hands off with that. Um, and I saw Shine uh, talk about his relationship with DNA, and as far as like DNA having to uh, do what he had to do as an employee, basically saying that he's not gonna burn the bridge to be loyal to him, and et cetera, et cetera. But I did see someone say something that, that, that kind of made a lot of sense, and he said that, uh, DNA told Shine not to sign the contract. Shine did. DNA also said he wasn't getting in between Shine and URL business. That's their business. And another point, and he said another point to make is if Shine was really DNA's friend, why would he be expecting DNA to give up his livelihood for some shit that Shine fucked up? Not gonna lie, in some regards I do agree because it's like, if DNA told him not to sign that contract because he didn't think that the, the end result was gonna be good, you know, he's definitely giving you the option to not do something. If you choose to do it, then 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 you kind of got to live with what comes out of that. And then, like he said, you know, DNA's on URL. URL's helping take care of his family. They're promoting his product and getting his music. And nigga don't work at no nine. I don't think DNA's at Amazon or he's fucking working nights at, uh, at Target or no shit like that. I think he's, you know, surviving well off battle rap. And as someone who's being able to do that and function, He's not gonna do anything that's gonna knock him off pace, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or take food out of his family mouth, and as a friend, you probably wouldn't want him to do that, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want SP to do some dumb shit that's gonna take food off of his table, so, like, you wouldn't want to put him in a predicament to where he would even have to make a decision like that, you know what I'm saying? So, while I do see Shine's point, and then Shine was, like, trying to drive it to the people that were interviewing him, too, like, ah, y'all gotta see it from where I see it from, you know what I'm saying? They really can see it how they want, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? DNA does have his own responsibilities just like you have your own. And if the shoes was on the other foot, I wouldn't want Shine to take to sell out his livelihood for another person either because at the end of the day, you got family, you got kids, you got bills, you got expenses, the economy is fucking crazy and nobody's gonna expect you to jump out the window for the next person because 
three years of no battle rap money, I know that's got to be crazy for Sean. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, three years without no, without no real motion. So I'm glad to see that he's back in his bag and doing what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Salute to him for the Shotty Horror battle. Uh, you know, he's gonna he's gonna have to bring it versus Shotty. Shotty is not no slouch. It's a definite style clash, but Shotty's not a slouch. He's battled a bunch of big names before. He's been out there forever and he's gonna bring it. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't seen some of Shotty's battles, you can definitely go back and watch a bunch of his classics. He's done it for the thousands of times. Him versus Ars. You I'm telling you, you could really go into a really deep catalog. But you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people going to be here to see Shine. And then a lot of the questions are asked. Is this an actual event? Are people going to be able to go to the event? Is this going to be a network type of deal? So, you know, the Power Network has definitely got some questions that people are going to want to know the answers to while proceeding with their operation. But we're excited to see it. You know what I'm saying? And we're glad to see that uh, K Shine is back. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know, he ain't took a step off or he ain't lost nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I didn't know which one was going to be back sooner, him or Briz, I was thinking, you know what I'm saying, which which one of these motherfuckers is going to come back. I don't know if Briz is ever going to be back, but it's looking like Shine. And this happening on, what is it, it's a, I think it said December 31st or something like that. Like, it's like on New Year's or some shit like that, you know? Yeah, it's been almost three long years. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can, uh, if I, if I can get this right for y'all real quick, man. Uh, K, Shine, Shoddy. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's taking place on New Year's Eve, uh, 12-31-2024. What day of the week is that? On a win? Yeah, see, y'all got, yeah, y'all got, y'all, the Power Network, you, you're doing an event on a, on a Wednesday? Yeah, y'all got to get me involved, man. Somebody, y'all, y'all get them, get them on the phone. We got to get on the phone, man. I don't want to put my man return on a Wednesday. That's kind of crazy. Um, But who am I? You know what I'm saying? I'm just about to fly. Uh, but shout out to uh, uh, Cassidy versus John John the Don. I don't believe the hype. This isn't a battle I don't need or like. Remember the old British shit? This is a battle I didn't, I never, it was not on my bingo card of battles that could potentially happen, but it is. Uh, there is a card that happened um, in New Orleans yesterday. Shout out to Capo. Uh, make sure y'all check that out. The stream is, I think it's a free stream. They don't put the joint online. I retweeted it or whatever the case may be. Um, and it is, uh, what was it called? It was called uh, Get It How You Live, Volume 1. Capo versus Oppo was on there. My boy uh, uh, Dollar Bill was hands with Some other shit on there too. I'm, I'm a, it's a three hour stream. Uh, you can go look for it. It's on Ruin Your Day. It says Ruin Your Day. It's on Ruin Your Day's channel. It's on somebody's channel. Shit happy. It's on Ruin Your Day's channel, I believe. So go peep them young boys out and see how y'all feel about them. Uh, I will be back later on with Showtime SP, you know what I'm saying, so we can really break down uh, some of the battles that happened yesterday and uh, all of the announcements and shit. It's good to see this thing happening in battle rap. Uh, John John Adon versus Cassie. Very, very interesting battle and the return of K-Shine, you know what I'm saying. John John, I, I, we can make it happen. I wake up, start smoking a spliff, <coughs> start choking this shit, eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch, but I don't trust a soul, so the toaster is gripped, the clip fly and I get high, I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? that's what I happen to do, this shit is verbal life skills, I ain't just 